Oh, we are on a hunt to get mother an antiquated flip phone. She doesn't want a phone that the rest of the world uses. <laughs> she wants a flip phone. And she had one from Consumer Cellular, which is supposed to be for the old people, easy to use. And I have to tell you that that was the hardest phone to use. And I had to deal with Consumer Cellular on the phone and it's not as advertised in our experience. Uh, they were just not helpful. It was horrible getting that phone <laughs> to even get started. And um, But when mom sees a phone with a front on it, she pecks on it with her fingernail like a chicken picking at corn. And then you get all kinds of weird stuff that happens when you peck on them, right? So here we are in a small town. This is small town, Missouri. There you go. It's called Tipton. There's also an Amish store in this town. And we like to never found. This is Main Street Tipton. So let me turn it around and you can have a look. So there we are. Look at these old buildings. Aren't they fascinating? You know, why don't we do architecture like that anymore? That is just beautiful for no reason whatsoever. And here we are. And so where do you go to look for an antiquated phone? You go to an antiquated Radio Shack dealer. They said they were the only ones that had what Mother wants. We'll see when she comes out if they had it. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of hope. I just had my infusion yesterday. Uh, it was horrible. It was a nightmare, guys. <laughs> I have to tell you. I have gotten... Uh, Oh, here comes a loud truck, naturally. Here you go. This is a feed truck. This is what you're going to see in Missouri all the time. <laughs> anyway, in all the times I go to the hospital, I, um, I never get the same nurse. They rotate around except for this one and she hurts me when she gives me a shot she, she fishes in the fat and she puts the needle in and out and i hurt for days and it uh just uh you know after two years of this you just get to the point where you're just kind of a sissy <laughs> i mean i grit my teeth i try everything not to say but when i saw her i about broke down and started crying it was just like no not her <laughs> I, I finally had to say something. I, I had to go. I'm sure she's a lovely human being. I'm sure she's a wonderful nurse. I'm sure she can hang bags like nobody's business. But when it comes to giving this five-minute shot, I swell up and hurt for days after she does it. And I've had other people, even first-timers, not hurt me like that. So, I love you, Carol Ann. But, uh, <laughs> no, don't ever give me another shot. Please, please don't. All right, guys. Well, after this, we're heading to the Amish store. And uh, hopefully, I, I really, I, I don't have a lot of hope for them having this phone here. We'll see. Every good small town has to have the, the feed, the MFA feed in the background. So there you are. You know, I don't know if I explained to any of you. Look at this hair. It's horrible. Um, at least I have hair, right? that um, the shot I'm getting is uh, Herceptin and Progetta mixed together and called something else. Uh, it's the same thing they were giving me in the bags when they were hanging it and putting it in the port, you know, in your neck. Uh, that little plate thing. But um, they're now putting it in a big needle and then they inject that in the fat in your thigh. And it's supposed to take five minutes to uh, infuse it into the fat slowly. Um, so that it, it, you know, gets absorbed and then your body absorbs that for the next three weeks. Uh, and it's supposed to keep your hormones dead so they don't cause tumor growth, I guess. That's the nearest explanation they've given me. So, um, that's why it's, it's usually, uh, you sit down and you get the needle in your thigh and you just sit there for five minutes while someone, uh, puts it in slowly. And, um, yeah. It's not supposed to swell up and look like an orange under your skin <laughs> or hurt that bad. So. But it's better than sitting for three and a half hours getting a slow drip. 
uh, and just ugh, being bored out of your mind for three and a half hours. Well, they still haven't come out of the radio shack. They must have her phone in there or something. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Well, while I'm sitting here waiting, <laughs> and uh, the lighting is fair to Midland, since my camera's broken, the lighting thing is off. Um, you might be wondering about the lump in my neck here. Uh, if you can see it, it's all up around in here. Um, I asked the doctor about it, and they were like, what do you want to do about it? And I said, well, I kind of would like to know what it is. And, I, and they said, well, well, what do you think you need to have done? And I said, well, maybe I need to see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. I mean, it's causing a sore throat, and it's affecting my hearing and my ear, you know. And it's uncomfortable, and it's hurting now. It didn't hurt before when they did the, the sonar thing on it. it. They couldn't see anything, and it wasn't hurting. Uh, but now it's starting to hurt. So, you know, it's obviously growing, and it's doing something. Uh, she felt of it. It's soft. And then they asked, well, what would I, I procedure would I like done? And I'm like, um, I would like a doctor who knows how to diagnose this and tell me what needs to be done. I, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. And then she said it might be my lymph glands because of the cancer and that I'm having a PET scan in three weeks and that that should show if it's the lymph glands. And they couldn't get me an appointment anywhere for anything else within three weeks anyway. So we're just taking a wait-and-see attitude. I, I hope it doesn't grow so big that, you know, it cuts my air off in three weeks. Who knows? Anybody out there a doctor? Do you know what that might be besides lymph glands swelling? I mean, I don't know. They said my lymph glands showed improvement last PET scan. If that's the case, then we're going backwards quickly. So, so there was the update on the big lump in the neck and what my doctors at Ellis Fischel have recommended for me to figure out what I need and want done. Is this like some new thing to make me feel like I'm in control? I, I, it makes me feel like they don't know what they're doing. Is it just me? Mom would say it's just me. We'll find out. Pam's pointing and saying they got it. Thank heavens. My goodness, they've been in there long enough. I thought they'd been kidnapped. She has a real phone? Yes. I, a real phone? Yes, ma'am. Well, how did he talk her into that? He did. Look, I told her she can learn how to she use She can this. learn how to use that. Yes, she can. Welcome to 2021, Mom. And it's got a clip on it. Got a case for it. Everything we did. Yay. Look at her. Her all fixed. Ooh, pretty. How about that? We're going to have to look at this. I need one now. <laughs> look at this beautiful church, guys. This is in that small town of Tipton. Isn't that pretty? That thing looks like a postcard, I swear. That is really pretty. It is gorgeous, yes. Hope the lighting is good enough. My camera, since it's broken, has not got good lighting for it. Yeah. And we have arrived at the Dutch, Dutch Bakery and Bulk Food Store. Yay! I don't know how much I can film inside. They don't. Yeah, really, they don't. You don't like yeah. that? Mm -mm. Oh, can we make a decision? Says, you know what we need? We need peanuts. Right down there. Raw ones. Oh, nice. <laughs> and candy. Mother needs candy. <laughs> She's always looking for the candy. Oh, I love these things. They make my mouth sore. I still like them. Dried fruits. Ooh. Oh, I remember those. Those were in Grandma's cookie jar. And butterscotch.
popcorn. Coconut oil butter flavor. When I was doing keto, that was my favorite thing to do for a lot of stuff. Oh well, guys. I think we'll be heading back to the deli part. Oh man, pickles, 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 all kinds of pickles. Oh, cookie cutters. I was looking for a turkey here a while back, couldn't find one. Ooh, got a dragonfly cookie cutter, that'd be awesome. May have to get one of those. Spices and jars. I think I have every spice in the world at my house after years of coming here. <laughs> oh look, little bottles of saffron and they're cheap for saffron. Cinnamon sticks, might need some of those for the holidays. I wish you could smell. smell of vision would be great. Ah, uh, cookie sheets. I need a new cookie sheet. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head over to the deli here in a minute. Uh, maybe I can get a shot of that for you. Ooh, ooh. Look at the deli. Okay, we're going to have to get some cheeses, guys. <laughs> and then we're going to get some beef sticks. Oh, and the tomatoes are beautiful today. And Pam's over there looking at those tomatoes. I know she is. Wow. All right. Maybe even a wind chime or two. All right, I'm out of here. Oh boy, I think we about bought the store out. <laughs> and look at this water tower here. Crazy eight ball. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're off heading to get some bite to eat probably, and then we'll be heading home and say bye-bye to Tipton, Missouri. And I hope <laughs> Mother likes her new phone and can learn how to use it. I'm really excited about her getting... I need a new phone, too. Mine's messing up, but... Oh, well. What a beautiful night sky. We're coming back from Columbia, Missouri after getting infusions, which was not fun. And the sky is blue and pink. Why, it's just gorgeous. Of course, hard to tell through all those trees. Now that I put the camera up, we have trees. There's out the front window. <laughs> it's prettier over here, though. There. Beautiful. Isn't that, it's really beautiful where the sun is shining through the clouds. Just gorgeous. Go, oh, was it supposed to be looking in God's bedroom window? Mm -hmm. Why? He looks in mine. Uh -huh. yeah. Fair is fair. Here's the baby quail all grown up and some of the older girls like Sally. And tonight they all laid an egg for the first time. That's right, Sally. You all laid eggs for the first time. Got nine of them. Yes. Ooh, it's a red letter night since chickens aren't laying. Nice thing about quail. They lay more reliably than chickens. Uh, so I haven't cleaned the counter off after I went shopping. And uh, Maggie hasn't been around to help me with that in a few days. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that... Uh, there are some things that money can't buy. And that's Helen, ready for her night-night. You ready to get in your cage? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll come and get you. Hot and spicy chicken. Night-night, Helen. Glad you're safe and snug in your chosen house. <laughs> 